In this video, I'm going to focus on exactly how to uh, create an actual um, instrument inside Delta V, and I'll do that as a follow-on from the previous video uh, where I focused on a, a CIP system. So the very first thing you need to do when you're looking at the PNID in this case here is we need to make sure that each instrument is represented uh, properly. So here what I have is a, a valve, it has XV on it, and basically I happen to know that this particular valve is gonna open close. I have one here, and this is an example of a valve that basically has a number of wires here, and effectively there's a diagram which can't be seen, it's far too small in this video, and basically it has uh, two feedbacks on it. It has something called a ZSC for closed, and then it has a ZSO for, for open. So it effectively has a similar kind of a, an appearance here, where basically you have a solenoid section that's to energize and basically put the valve in an open uh, state. And then effectively these are the two ZSCs, or sorry, the two read switches, a ZSC and a ZSO, to show whether it's open or closed. And here's a small kind of diagram. Uh, which basically exists. So what we need to be able to do inside of Delta V, so I'll open up Delta V, we need to be able to actually uh, insert that particular item in at the very, very start. Okay, so in the Delta V Explorer, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a control module and effectively I'm in an area called a mixing area. And basically then I have this uh, CIP tank and effectively, these are all of the different items uh, which are in place. And again, it's this particular item here that I'm going to focus in on, this XV008. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll click on this tank 01, and basically I'll go new control module. Now, when you're creating something brand new, it should be that there's an existing infrastructure in place. So I could effectively talk all day here, um, about the whole idea of setting up libraries and so on um, in Delta V, but I'm not going to do that right now. Effectively, when you're going to create a new object, you should know that a standardized object already exists. It's the equivalent of if you were creating PNIDs, you would make sure that you have universal consistent symbology as if you were actually looking at a lead sheet. So here I'll go off and I'll go from existing I'm gonna browse off to a valve that I know I like. So I'm just going to go off to another section. I'm just gonna pick this particular valve here and I'll open it up in more detail. The name that I'm going to give on it is going to follow a similar pattern to what's been seen. So I'll go XV-001. The 01 represents the tank. That's just the way I'm going to name it. And then I'm going to go dash 008. So the 008 here corresponds to this particular guy here. And then of course we have tank number one. Okay, so then I'm just gonna literally just go, okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look inside uh, this particular guy here. So I'm gonna go click inside him, right? And then I'm basically going to go to assign, assign to node. And this happens to be the node here. So basically it's just a, a hope that you have to jump through. That's the only way to think of it. And then I have to do a download, it's called. So effectively, there we go. Download, download control module. It's basically official. That's the best way to uh, describe it. It's actually come live outside of simply just draft. So then I'm going to go up here to open with open online with Control Studio, and I'll explain the diagram that basically comes in the loading at the moment. Okay, so uh, effectively, the um, when you open up the control module here, what we will see is a, well, there's an awful lot going on, right? It's to do with alarming and so on. But the part that's the most relevant to us is this rec SP up here. Then we have valve out. And then we have the ZSC and the ZSO. The requirement of what you're telling it to do then we also have this guy valve out. It means that it has received your message and you can confirm uh, whether it has received your message correctly. So you've tried to uh, put it into an open state. Valve out is effectively whether it actually got your message or not. And then they took the ZSC and the ZSO, 
they are effectively just kind of feedbacks. The main thing to point out here is that I know what to expect because this is something that's being used uh, in a standardized sense within the program for a valve that is, in this case, normally closed and is effectively it's expecting those read switches. You can get valves that have different configurations and so on. Okay, so he seems to be working fine. That's no problem at all. So now what we need to do is we need to go off and we actually need to put him on the graphics. So I'm going to open up Delta V operate configure and effectively I, I already have the CIP tank open. Now with regards to um, creating say valves and so on and, and creating graphics, the core thing to think of is that there should again be some form of graphical library that fits with the control studio. So these valves here, they fit with these particular guys that you can actually see on the screen. So this hard work has been done. I could do several videos back to back uh, discussing again the creation of libraries, but I'm not going to do that right here right now. So effectively, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down and I have a valve here and I'm going to just do control C, control V. And I'm going to bring this guy over here. And then what I'm going to do is let's bring him down. I'm going to click on custom. OK, so we've just done a, a, an actual copy. And what we need to do is we just need to literally point him at this particular guy that we created. OK, so what I will do is I could go off and, and literally kind of go on a, on a long journey here. But essentially, I'll just go into this guy mixing area, CIP tank, tank number one. And then we will just go to that guy there. And that's really it. So it's just we've applied that. That's that's basically it. Or what I could do is I could literally just type in zero one. And then the. 08 that's basically it so he's normally a closed valve and that's it and he's intended for the drain that literally goes out so what i will do is i'm literally just going to go save that's basically it and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to do a close and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up the the yeah i'll just go straight into uh delta v here and then we'll open up um that's configure and where is run actually that is the so this should open up a moment probably get an alarm very good yeah so that's this guy here he's undefined that's the guy that we created let me just leave him actually like that for a moment so i'm going to go now and i'm going to open up our cip screen and here we have this guy down here okay so i'll just give him a click and then he's in something called cascade anyway he's alarmed at the moment just because he's been created and he doesn't know what situation he's in OK, so effectively, this valve is currently closed at the moment. And what I need known because of the, the actual programming I'm going to do in the next video, which will include this particular guy here. Or what I can tell you is that he's operating live at the moment. So he's literally expecting commands to come in. And if I go off to the Delta V Explorer and if I go in here, I just open him up over there. And let me just go open online with Control Studio. loading up there if I go over here and if I double click on his required set point and you can do this programmatically or you can do it manually in this sense if I give a double click into him give him a value of one watch what happens he attempts to open now because he hasn't been programmed yet and because there's no physical IO put in place we have a situation in that he that the attempt has been said to actually open him and then he will alarm if he doesn't open in a period of time 
very quickly what I will do is I'll just hit accept as if the feedback has come back. In the next video what I will do is I will talk about how you actually set up simulation so you can simulate your actual ZSEs and your ZSOs, your open and close read switches. But that effectively, uh, the purpose of this video has just been to summarize how do you set up a control module? How do you actually have a graphic um, that's there? Um, I'll move into the simulation next uh, in the next video. And then what I'll do is I'll do an introduction to actually writing scripts to actually open and close items, turn pumps on and off. And then that leads into the next video of actually trying to put actual phase logic together. Thank you very much.